Guys, it's late February and fishing has been tough, but we're still catching crappies in the backwaters of the Mississippi River using finesse plastics. We have a warming trend coming up here in March and things are about to change. Stay tuned to the Angler X channel for more ice fishing action as things heat up going into March. Crawford, I hope you like this intro. Stick around. I think you're going to love this week's video. Catching crappies in the backwaters of the Mississippi River. Don't go anywhere. Go. Fish on. Ooh, nice crappie. Beautiful fish. Right above a brush pile or a tree. You can see it on my graph there. But, uh,. We couldn't get those perch going, so now we're we're chasing crappies. You gotta take what the river gives you when it gives them to you, and they're giving us crappies, so it's a nice looking fish. Let him go. I'll kind of show you what's going on here. So right here are these these lines right in here, these are these that's like a tree branch. That single line above it, that's a fish. That line below it, that's a fish. And I'm just going to be fishing above that tree branch and hopefully putting some fish on the ice. So I'm just staying just above that branch. Here comes another fish. I don't know if it's right below me or if it's slightly off to the side or what, but I don't want to get hooked on it or get my fish tangled in it when, when I hook up. So I'm just trying to find those active fish that want to come up out of the tree to bite. And it could be bluegills, crappies, maybe some bass. We will find out. So far, one crappie. On. Way up top. Nice crappie. Beautiful fish. Really nice crappie. He followed it all the way up to under the hole. Really nice fish. Looks like we're gonna do do some damage on these crappies today. So stay tuned. Oh, he came right back. See that? So I'm not showing the whole water column. Right here on the bottom, that's the tree. And there's water below that tree that I'm not showing on my graph. What that big red bar you see at the bottom, that's not the bottom, that's the tree. So when you see fish coming up out of the red, like this one here, they're not coming off the bottom, they're coming out of the tree. There we go, I'm coming up really fast for it. He's got it on. Oh, Nice crappie. Beautiful fish. There we go. Look at that fish. Beautiful fish. Come back. Keep them coming. Ooh, fish. Wasn't even paying attention. That one came in. Nice. Nice crappie. Big old slab. It's got a little bit of a sore on him. Awesome fish though. Don't even have to pay attention and catch these fish. Look at that. That's nice. Probably 11 inch or 11 and a half. It's kind of pale, but nice fish. Here comes one really fast. Oh, no. oh no. nice fish. There we go. There we go, there we go. Happy. 
He just raised stuff for it. And that's exactly how I like him to do it. Another fish down there. Took it. He was waiting for it. Another nice crappie. A school of them moved in. Using the liquid willow cap. Liquid larva. Just like I have all winter long. I'm just hammering crappies. See that color there? A really nice looking color it's kind of a natural base color but then it's got some red in it these fish are hammering that thing oh, got some activity on our set one got it Item, whatever it is. It's Buddy the Perch. I've been looking for you all morning. Not a big one by any means. We'll get him back. I kind of explain what I did here with my transducer. I drilled two holes, one right next to each other, and then I I laid this board over the hole and then I can get my transducer right up against um, the front side of the back hole and then I fish out of this hole so I'm essentially uh, the same distance from my lure as I normally would be and I'm able to pull the fish up without any t entanglement with the transducer cord which is very nice because it's annoying when that happens. Here we go. Fast on. Oh man, did he rush up for it. That was cool. That's what I want him to do. They just haven't been doing a lot of it. Really nice crappie. He just absolutely choked that jig. There we go. Keep them coming. We want more. When we want more, we want more. There he goes. There we go. Comes a fish. On. On, on, on. Good fish. Nice crab. Yes. Yes. Beautiful. Choked it. Exactly how you want them to do it. It's getting to be about noon right now. We're gonna probably wrap it up here pretty soon. It's really gotten slow. We're still picking off a fish here and there. We'll get that guy back. We're gonna converge in three, two, one. Got him. Another nice crappie. Yes. Another nice crappie. He's got something in his belly there. Beautiful fish. Still catching him. Slow but steady.
very very nice get these midday bites I had to switch to a wax worm and it just is kind of pushes these these hesitant fish over the edge a little bit and convinces them to bite here, I got another one coming here we got a little bit of action here picking up and we're going to converge in three, two, one. That one didn't want it. I got a couple of marks on the screen right now. At least we're seeing fish again. Had kind of a lull right there for a while and it's pretty typical for the middle of the day though. Maybe we'll get a few here yet before the day is over. At least before my fishing day is over. A tree in a deep area where crappies hang out is a great place to hang out and just camp over all day long. You're going to have ebbs and flows of crappies. They're going to come and go. But since that tree is there, it's like a focal point. So there's always going to be fish coming to check out uh, that tree and to see if there's anything hanging around it. So it's a great spot to just continue to fish and you're gonna have all day success fishing by a tree and that's what I'm doing today. I got a mark coming up here pretty quickly. That was a pretty significant mark too. Oh, 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 oh. he popped the hook. That was a good crappie. Dang it. But we're in we're in one of those classic crappie areas in the backwaters of Mississippi River. It's a deep, deep uh, bay with with a lot of water, and and obviously there's some cover with trees, and I'm over one of them. And it's just a great place to hang out and and catch a few crappies. But we we caught a few, then there was a lull, then we caught a few more, and. And now it's, you know, it's approaching noon. It's probably right at noon right now. And these crappies are just starting to crank up a little bit again. And we're picking off a few fish. So this tree has been good. So what I did is this is my hole here right over the tree. Then I drilled three, two to three feet over. And now I'm barely seeing the tree at all on my in my unit when I was dropping down in my my hole here I was actually hitting the tree with my jig I could see marks down below the tree but now that I've drilled off of it just a little bit I'm able to drop my jig all the way down oh here we go crappy way up high racing up and He's got it. Um, so we do that. Oh, nice fish. Still catching him. Made a little move, a two foot move. And got that one. There you go. That's why I like crappies, because they chase it and they eat it. And if they don't eat it, they leave. There we go. See him hot? He's hot. Just racing up. When they come like that, you know they're going to eat it. There we go.
too much fun guys absolutely love it so that's what I'm doing right now just one wax worm hooked right behind the head and then make sure that guy is nice and limber so he flops Here we go. Hi, Marks. Yep, here he comes. Come on. Got him. He ate it. And he's gone. One loss to the transducer cord. That's why we drill two holes. The bite was not gangbusters today, but we caught some nice crappies. If you can find a tree in deep backwaters, hang out by that tree and you're gonna find some crappies. Just be patient and spend some time there and work those fish over and you can put together a pretty decent day of fishing. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and maybe even learned something. And until next time, thanks for watching.